I got three new pine trees to be testing out today and I figured what's the best way to test them? Well, I'm going to be going ahead and testing my limit. Now, since I took that tolerance break a couple of months ago, I don't think I've really been hitting pens that much. I barely even take blinkers now, it's very rare. And honestly, I just don't think I take like more than two to three hits from a pen. But today, I'm going to be testing out my limit to see how many hits is it going to take me to reach my full limit limit all right to the point where I'm like you know what I'm absolutely good I can't go in on anymore and I should just probably stop it at that so I'm gonna be busting all three of these open I'm gonna be giving you guys a quick taste test throughout this video also and we're gonna be having a good snazzy time all right so if you are new here don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on the post notification bells and leave a fat like to help it with the algorithm and if you're wondering what battery I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be using the zone opto that I honestly haven't even charged since the last couple of videos that I've made I've been using this thing almost every single day and it still hasn't died out on me I think right now I'm gonna go ahead and click it five times to turn it on it's gonna go ahead and tell me how much battery life I have left I've at least taken a cup maybe a couple like 50 to 100 puffs but it still says that I have 91% all right so we're gonna be using this battery and for those of you who don't know about this battery it has three different variable wattages that you can go ahead and choose from as a charging base and a charging up super fast and honestly it's easily one of my favorite batteries as of late just because of the fact that the durability on this is insane all right so I have several batteries you guys already know that I'm the cart king and I'm just kidding but seriously though I have a bunch of batteries and out of all the ones that I've used I love Yokan I love all the other ones but this one right here the durability is insane all right I only have only had like one or two people tell me that it's broken on them which is absolutely baffling to me because like I said I've used this almost every single day since I got my very first one and I have two of them by the way I have a blue one and then I have this black one right here none of them have ever stopped working on me now depending on what cart you have sometimes the connection from the cart to this is a little bit janky but that's usually the carts problem because most of the times nine out of ten times that never happens to me but I have had it sometimes where the connection just doesn't click and honestly I think that it's the 510 threads fault and not necessarily the battery because if it was the battery then it would just be happening every single time all right but this has been my go-to as of late I do have a discount code for this so you guys can go ahead and get a good percentage off save some beans I'll make sure to throw it up here on the screen and I'll also make sure to pin it down in the comments below but the battery for today that we're gonna be rocking is gonna be the zone opto all right ladies and gentlemen so with that being said let's go ahead and get into the taste testing now I have three different flavors like I told you guys in the beginning from pine trees all right I'll go ahead and throw their Instagram up on the screen because I whenever I use these I know I have a lot of people that just kind of leave a comment like where pine trees where bro who is pine trees so I'll go ahead and throw their Instagram up to top and then the three flavors that we have here today lemon cherry gas which already sounds pretty crazy we have this one right here which is the peanut butter breath I've heard a lot I think I've already tried this one before but a lot of people say that this is one of their favorite ones and if, if I did have it it's been a very long time so I don't remember exactly what the flavor and taste is like last but not least we have the raspberry which I've also heard good things about it right so three different pine trees let's go ahead and break into them Let's not waste any time. I'm gonna try to keep this as uncut as possible. Now the hard part now when you get a bunch of carts at once is kind of like, oh, which one am I gonna be tasting first, right? That's usually the hardest thing that I have to question myself with. So out of the three that we have right here, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go in on the peanut butter breath because honestly, peanut butter breath used to be a really hot strain back in the day and it's kind of crazy to see that they're bringing it back. But if you know, you know, that these are pretty freaking fire right so honestly one thing that I don't like is these little stickers always peel off so they, they, it's super hard for them to peel off so what I usually do is literally just tear the box open but let's go ahead and see if we could even get this off and honestly when it comes down to 510 thread carts you guys know me I, I haven't really been chief in too many new brands because I'm really picky when it comes down to it and I only really stick to the ones that I like because after so much trial and error you kind of are tired of wasting money and especially me since I've tried pretty much every new brand out on the market at least here in Southern California uh, I know which ones are good and I know which ones are bad right and that's why I make all of these videos for you guys so you guys know which ones are gas and which ones are not so let's go ahead and just slide this open like so I believe oh oh you see 
All right, there you go, right? And as soon as you open it, you get that nice little thicky thick cart right there. I believe all of it, yeah, these are all 1G. So if you guys want to see me give these away or maybe do a little bit of like a real life like meet up and then give a couple of these away, I'd be more than happy to just leave a fat like. And if we hit Mike, if we hit like 2000, oh, like 2500 likes, I'll do a, a like in real life meet up and we'll go ahead and get that rolling. Right. But oh my gosh, the oil on this looks phenomenal. No cutting agents, no additives, just straight up heat. All right. The reason you guys freaking saw me just like pause right there was because for some reason, I don't know why, but this thing wasn't threading on, but I just had it threaded on a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five. And then there you go, it turns it back on. As soon as you get it turned on, it tells you optimizing. And I believe the optimizing, what it does is literally just um, read the homages to make sure that you're getting a good connection. And if it doesn't get a connection, it literally blinks red. So that way it doesn't go ahead and hit and you don't blow it up on your face, all right? So with that being said, let's go ahead and go in on this first ever taste test of the peanut butter breath and get this little challenge going. Ooh. I was not expecting that big of clouds. I did have to preheat this and honestly that's one of the things about the pine trees is that you do have to preheat them because it is a whole lot thicker oil and it definitely is a little bit harder to burn but once you get that nice little preheat going and the viscosity of the oil gets a little bit less thicker then you're going to be ripping this like a charm but honestly that first hit of the freaking peanut butter breath was very heavy on the earthiness. You get a slight, I don't know if it's like a sweetness, but it's something that, that it's, it's appealing. It's appealing for sure. It, I don't know if it, I would consider it too sweet, but it's definitely more of like a softer flavor, I guess you could say. And it's very kind of earthy, rich. And it, it, honestly, the taste on this is probably one of the most craziest tasting pens that I've tried. It doesn't taste like your average pen would, you know, or you get that earthy earthy muskiness, sweetness, and stuff like that. This has a very soft taste to it. And by soft, I don't mean subtle. It's like a soft taste, all right? I know you guys are probably like, soft? What do you mean, Sebi? That's the best way that I could explain it. It's a very gentle taste to it, but it tastes good tastes almost like murky and maybe that's why they call it peanut butter breath it just has such a complex flavor to it so this one right here i'm gonna go ahead and have to give this a solid 8.5 out of 10 for the peanut butter breath now i'm gonna go ahead and set that to the side i am gonna come back to it but i just want to go ahead and try the other ones right off the rip and not waste too much time right here so the next one that we have going on is gonna be the raspberry honestly i think i've had the raspberry before too i've had a lot of their flavors because they all smack and honestly the raspberry is one of my top fives for sure from them they have a good variety to choose from from like cdt's or just their cured resins all that stuff and it's it's a pleasure right it's a pleasure i love when companies make good stuff this one right here let me go ahead and try to pull it out bro and let's go ahead and do this do that and then just go ahead and screw it on lighter clouds on that one so you guys can see kind of what I'm talking about that you really have to prime this and get it really nice and, and like heated up. Not heated up, heated up, but warm for sure. But that one, ooh, you get tartness. Wow. So you get tartness, you get a little bit of sweetness, but the tartness like kind of overthrows the sweetness, but you still taste it. It's not super like sour. And you taste a little bit of earthiness. And honestly, this right here might be one of the most calm, but like, I know I just said the fucking peanut butter breath was super complex, but this one right here is a little bit more complex than that. You get tartness, which is not something that I taste from a lot of carts. And you taste the sweetness a little bit and you taste that earthiness, you know, kind of like if it just got dug up out of the ground and it's a little bit earthy. And honestly, I'm kind of digging the raspberry. I think I'm gonna go ahead and have to get that. Is it as good as the peanut butter breath? I don't know but I'm gonna go ahead and have to leave it at a good, maybe like a good 8.5 too. So it's kind of like like right on par with the peanut butter breath. So we got those two going. And honestly, if you guys are wondering what uh, setting I use on my Zone Opto, I'm always gonna be using the flavor setting. That right there is gonna be the best option, right? So next up on the list, or last I should say, is gonna be the lemon cherry gas. Now you guys know me, lemon cherry is probably one of my, I don't know if I would call it my favorite strain, one of my favorite strains, but it's definitely one of the more enjoyable ones that I know whenever I chief it it's gonna have some great taste to it all right so I have 
some pretty decent expect or higher expectations on this one. Let's go ahead and just pull this little sucker out. Yeah, all right. I, I don't know what it is about these damn boxes. Every single time that I try to open one, I literally struggle so damn much, right? So let's go ahead. All right, this is going to be one of those ones that I just tear it open because I'm not going to sit here and just freaking try to finagle my way through the box. Let's go ahead and rip this open. Let's go ahead and just be quick with this because your boy Savvy G doesn't want to waste your guys' time. I want to get straight to the reviews. And packaging always takes up like a good minute of my time. Just literally trying to get this to open properly. But this one right here, let's go ahead. Oh, this one's a little bit darker in color. This one's a little bit darker in color than what I'm used to, right? So the other ones are a little bit lighter, kind of like orangey tint, gold, and nectarine. But this one right here is a little bit darker in color. I'm gonna go ahead and take the other one off of my zone opto. And one thing that I did notice, I don't know if it's just the pine trees, but they the like the bottom threads are a little bit smaller than what I'm used to. So it's having a little bit like harder time connecting to my zone opto, but it still connects, which is the most important part, all right? So with that being said, let me go in on this lemon cherry gas and then we're just going to keep puffing until we reach our limit light pulls on that one too i was expecting a little bit more but you guys could still see those little clouds there. actually that was a good cloud it just looked a little bit light on the inhale but whew, you get diesel-y tartness dang pine trees is coming out with a lot of tart flavors which is actually pretty nice i love that flavoring sweetness I don't know if I would call it earthiness, but it is a little bit musky in a sense. And honestly, I kind of dig it. It's kind of like a runcy with a little bit of sweetness, with a little bit of tartness. And honestly, that right there is just hitting phenomenally, all right? So this, dang, I kind of wanted to like, I didn't know that this was gonna be that, like, that good of a flavor, but I think it might be the other two, the peanut butter breath, and then the other one that we had, I, I'm honestly forgetting all of these damn names, by the way, the raspberry. Damn, this one right here is probably going to get a solid, hmm, I'm going to go ahead and give that a solid 8.8 .8 out of 10, right? So out of the three that we have right there, they're all really, really fire. So yeah, I don't I don't, I don't want to put one over the other, but yeah, based off of the ratings, you guys can go ahead and tell. So with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get to puff and let's take a couple more puffs and see what it takes to get to my complete limit on carts. Hmm. Crazy clouds with that one. That one kind of tickled my throat because it was that big of a cloud, but literally, what is it? Four hits in, and I'm already starting to feel pretty good, but I don't think we've reached the limit just yet. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm not gonna take a guess. Let's just go ahead and keep going and see what my actual limit is. Tart, gassy, fire. Honestly, these are really gas. I'm gonna go ahead and switch off to the other ones meanwhile, but five hits in, I think I'm starting to get there, right? And by the way, we're taking only like three, not really, no, I would say five second pulls is where I'm like kind of reaching at, and that's usually how long my pulls are. But five, five, yeah, five, five second pulls, it's getting to me, right? Five, five second pulls is kind of getting me up there. I think, yeah, let's go ahead and go in on a couple more. All right, six, that one kicked in super fast. Oh my gosh, I feel that one literally straight to the dome skis. <coughs> I'm gonna have to go ahead and, you know what, I think we might have one more in me, but wow. That one's straight up dome rush. Great feeling, great taste. Woo, and honestly, yeah, that's that. at six, where it's pretty freaking solid, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch off to the final, pine, or the third pine tree, make it a total of seven. Woo, baby. Let's go ahead and go in on that. Let's go ahead and see what seven is looking like. Oh, that one was, uh, that was pretty big. Smooth though, very, very smooth. I think that was the raspberry. Wow, and honestly, that seven is just take going, going a little bit further. I think that might be the limit for us because like, I, it, it's not really hitting me as much as it was on the six one. The six one, I absolutely felt that one. And number seven is just kind of like adding a little bit of a boost. So I think that right there might be our official cart limit. So seven, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 35, wait, 35? I don't know what I'm saying, right? Wait, hold on. So five, 
five second or seven five second pulls equates to 35 seconds total all right which is technically like three and a half blinkers but whatever with that being said though man i loved all of the pine trees that we got here today i love the zone opta the zone opta is honestly that battery right now until something else gets released of this high quality and so i'm gonna go ahead and end out the video here don't forget that you could use my code in order to get some beans off of the zone opto and if you guys enjoyed today's quick little video and want to see more like this just do me one last favor by leaving a fat like comment subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you guys on tomorrow's video.